right? So give me an example so people know I'm not just making this crap up. Well, I mean, just like when I had nothing, I already knew I was driving like Ferraris and Porsches and stuff because I always wanted those cars. I right. already knew I was going to have them. It was inevitable. Right. I inevitably, you know, that was just my inevitable outcome. But how did you do that? Did you have a ritual? Did you think about it regularly? Was it one time you thought about it or was it something you had an obsession towards? I had an obsession towards it. I mean, yeah. I used to go, I work, used to work at a video store, which is the last job I ever had in my life. Thank God. And uh, I used to go to, to work almost every day. And I used to bring two magazines with me to read on my breaks. Entrepreneur Magazine, just to read about business and everything yeah. else, to read about what other people are doing, look for role models. And I used to carry an auto trader with me. And wow. I used to look at Porsches that were for sale. Yeah. And people always used to ask me, what are you doing with that Auto Trader Magazine? I'm like, well, I'm just picking out the Porsche that I'm going to buy. Right. When I'm, Which probably got you a lot of crap. <laughs> I, I, I did. I, people made fun of me. Sure. I, I actually had a boss at that job tell me, you know, you really shouldn't do that to yourself, John, because it's, it's very, very likely that that is never going to happen. That it's very likely that you, you're never going to have that car. Yeah. That's, that's the kind of belief he was trying to put in my head. And I was like, no, you don't realize that it's, it's inevitable right. that I will drive here at sometime in the near future with that car when I'm not working for you right. and drop movies off for you to put back on the shelf. And was that it? actually happened. And it was one of the most oh, fulfilling days of my entire life. And the great thing was when I pulled up in this car, I was, well, you know, I was in my mid-20s, yeah. a car that most mid-20s. What know, kind of car was it? It was a Porsche 911 Turbo. It was sure. a convertible and everything. Sure. It was a beautiful car. It was one I went out. Yeah. When I always dreamed rocket. to have it. But, you know, for a few years, I always circled the ads of which ones I was going to buy. Well, when I finally got it and I pulled up at the store, you know, I had all these people, some people that were still working at this $7 an hour job were there years after I left. And I'll never forget this, even the boss and stuff, and, and the reaction of the people was like, wow, that is awesome. Yeah. Is that your dad's car? <laughs> and all I said to them was, not exact. When doubt creeps into your mind, remember that uh, whatsoever a man believeth, that shall he also reap. Remember, faith is not something you get. Faith is something you already have. But you may be using it in reverse gear by believing in the circumstances and things you do not want, the things you fear. Remember also that faith is guidance only. It is not a power which will bring you what you want, but a power that can guide you to go after what you want and get it. Remember, too, that your faith is limited only by your own capacity to believe. You can do whatever you make up your mind to do. I believed I could give the world a practical philosophy of success which would free men and women from their fears and limitations. I stood firmly back of that belief through 20-odd years of effort and I saw my belief give freedom to millions of people. Do the thing, said Emerson, and you shall have the power. May I paraphrase this great truth by saying, believe and you shall receive. I am that I am. You must be conscious of how you use these words, I am. I am strong. I am well. I am content. Even if your senses tell you something different, I am. And as we move now into the meat of this program, you'll see that putting the words I am in front of something into your mind and imagination is a very powerful way to attract into your life, recognizing your own divinity. I am God is not blasphemy. It is your identity. What up, you guys? All right, bros. So this video is going to be about the power of visualizations and the power of the beliefs of your words, what you mean and what you say. And when you stand on it, things can come true, right? I really need you to understand, bro. Like, <laughs> this is some of the most powerful shit in order to be successful or whatever you want to be or whatever you want to do. This is so fucking powerful, right? And I take it from the perspective of this whole life shit is a video game, right? And the most, like, like the most accurate video game that it is, is GTA. GTA 5, right? Take, for instance, GTA 5. You go, you, you, you know, you walk in the street, boom, punch somebody in their face, boom. In real life, you can do that. Like, I can get out of my car right now. 
walk and just hit somebody like on some gta shit am i saying to do this of course not <laughs> there's a bank right there bro if i have the plan in my head to go rob this bank and be successful i can do that i could go try and rob this bank right now as we speak try to stick it up and hold up get a million dollars out the bank you i can try to do this this whole gta shit this whole life is literally like gta really think about it right because in gta you need a plan in order to get like the setup to a heist right so when you're playing gta and you're setting up the heist boom you got to go do this that and the third i kind of forgot what you had to do but i remember you have your homeboy lester you go to lester's house boom uh you call lester or you go to lester and shit and he's like the computer ner uh virgin who who's a hacker who knows how to like get the police away from you if you make a phone call you will like lose all the stars on gta and shit the virgin knows so so it's a plan you go to lester and then boom you got to go to franklin's house or you got to go to trevor and this that you got to switch to these characters to do in order to set up the heist and then you got to go get some minivans and then you got to get like three to four uh, other people to set up this heist it's all the plan it's all the visuals it's okay i think boom 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 we go oh yeah i remember in one of the missions you got to go scout out the the uh the bank and see oh okay this is where this camera's at all right we got to watch this that and the third we got to see where these cameras at then you go mask in you go rob the motherfucking bank and y'all y'all go hit a fucking crazy lick on some crazy shit but really realize that this life shit is just like gta franklin look at each character off gta real fast right franklin he was in the hood with no money no nothing he had no bread to him he had no money Trevor was the most crash out dude you will ever see on any video game. He ready to crash out. He in the bars fucking shit up. I'm you. You got to really remember the missions, bro. This dude going through the uh, his town and shit, ready to just shoot and shit, ready to go to the biker gangs fight. You know, fuck a dude's bitch and then fight after all of that. He's the most crash out dude. Nothing to lose. And Michael, he been uh, in the beginning of GTA. You go hit a, a bank, a big bank robbery, and then he supposedly died. And, you know, people are mad that he didn't die and shit like that. But he's living a lavish life and shit. But it's all of these people come from nowhere, just out of nowhere. One's from the hood. One's from the middle of the southwest of fucking um, L.A. or whatever. And one is in the, the suburbs living fine off of, like, off of the money he stole from the bank robbery. So you can do whatever you say you want to do. I can go try to rob this bank right now. I could go to the corner store, punch the Indian guy in the face, and try to take the money off of GTA shit. Like, on some real-life GTA shit. You can do this, bro. So, I really need y'all to understand. It's the power of the visualization of what you think you can do and what you know you can do, right? People call me crazy. Just like how, bro, in the beginning, I, I came across this video, and I didn't find... I never found a video more, like more accurate to me in my life not not once that was literally what i'm thinking like that's the guy i think just like him it's the first clip i, I don't even know the guy's name but he's talking just like how i talk and i literally step back i'm like yo this is literally me, me right now this was me a year ago this was me two years ago since i really always thought of myself higher i do the things that make me higher i eat healthy foods everyone eats the mcdonald's i I work extremely hard. I hit the gym five, six times out of the week. I do the things that I say I'm going to do. And it brings me to a power of a level of power that is higher. And by default, yeah, you're beating the guy who's 350 pounds. He's not even in like, you know, in my mind. I'm sorry. Like I'm looking for the killers, the people who are like almost a threat at me, like who work harder than me. And it's so rare to find. But bro, I'm, I'm looking out here like I got to stay on my toes. I got to really be the next level and say who i am because when that competition come i gotta be ready you feel what i'm saying so that guy in that first clip is talking just like me i need you to understand people actually think i'm crazy people actually think i'm fucking nuts in a way of if i didn't know this knowledge i probably would have thought i'm nuts too and this is where i like i love y'all because if you understand and you're watching videos like this and maybe you're just a fan of me and you like who i am or whatever this is fucking powerful never let anyone talk to you in a way that steers you off of your direction right for instance i can I'm, I'm gonna have so many examples i'm gonna try to make this video not too long for you guys right but for instance right i was with a shorty just yesterday right oh by the way today's like the solar eclipse day so i want to see what the fuck really going on it's about to be that time where some uh you know the, the eclipse is supposed to come or some shit so i'm gonna really see. if i get that on camera that's some nut shit like while recording that'll be crazy but check it so yesterday I was with uh went on a little date with a shorty too, right? And 
put it like this, right? I'm talking to her, you know, this, that, and the third. I'm talking about all of this. Like, I'm going to, like, it, it just gets into, like, a conversation where we're talking about the future and shit like that. And she tells me, basically, like, I, I, like she's telling me, like, yeah, hopefully I could get a good job, you know, go to college, get a nice job, you know, make a good amount of money. I don't really care if I live in, like, you know, a sunlight uh, apartment and things like that. And I'm just like, yo, stop talking. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I literally, like... I actually step back and like we're sitting on a bench and I'm looking at her and I'm like, for real, that's it. And she kind of gets offended. And I'm like, like, this just comes out of me sometimes. I'm just like, that's all you think, like for real. And she, like, I'm like, you don't think you'll touch millions of dollars in this? Like, you won't really be like a fucking lit ass person on a boat, on a yacht or some shit. She's like, she she's looking at me and she's like so serious. She's like, I don't put those type of like expectations in my mind because if I fail, it hurts. And I'm like, fuck out of here. You're not going to fail. Like, what do you mean you're going to fail? I'm like, it's just like, it's like a, a self-limiting belief. I start to really understand what the average person thinks. And I open up a little bit of my mind to her. I'm like, listen, man, I'm going to have everything I say I'm going to have. Like, I'm going to be like a rich motherfucker, all this, that, and the third. And she's like, nah, don't do that to yourself. Like, I'm like, no, you don't do that to yourself. Like, listen to me. What I say will come true. I know who I am. The power of my visualization of what I think will come true will come true with the hard work back with this, right? So the power of, you know, I made a last video. My last video, if you guys see, because they've been copywriting my fucking videos, bro. Y'all don't even know. Um, they actually blocked this one because I'll put a clip of Rock Lee, my favorite, one of my favorite characters from Naruto and shit. <laughs> Fuck, why did I lose my train of thought, bro? This is how this shit in this bitch. But basically, like I was saying. But basically, Shorty's telling me like this, that, and the third. And she's not putting beliefs in her head. So I'm starting to really understand what the normal people think right because i am not deemed as normal anymore i'm just not i don't see myself as normal and other people really just say like yo you're kind of like nuts you're like they'll hear the information the things that i say and it will go directly over their head but they'll hear the part where i'm like yo i'm, I'm gonna be a millionaire and they're they're just like they're like bro stop like you're you're nuts like living like you're living in a false reality like you're wake up you're living in the dream world this is what these people tell me just like how they was telling bro with the Porsche, right? He talking about like, yeah, I'm gonna get this Porsche. Like, fuck you talking about? Like, I'm really, I really work for this. I'm gonna be one day coming through with the Porsche. It's inevitable. It's like, it's going to happen. This is literally my mind. It's just, I don't have my Corvette yet, but real soon I'm gonna pop out with a vet. You will see this within your eyes if you follow me long enough. If I don't die or go to jail, you will see me slide in the vet. You will see me react to my old videos and literally show you guys this is the pathway of how to be great. I will give you guys all of this for free. You just give me some more time. That's all it is. But basically, it's the it's your mind of what you think. I don't think lowly. I can't think lowly. I truly believe like the saying they say, if you shoot for the moon, uh, even if you shoot for the moon, even if you miss land amongst the stars, that's a fucking bar. Like that's one of the realest sayings I ever heard in my life, bro. Because if you shoot so high and you see yourself as higher and you work hard, you will land. Even if you miss, you will really land amongst the stars. There's not, bro. Oh, my God. Say my goal was to make $10 million and I make $8 million. I missed my goal. But, bitch, I'm, a land, I'm amongst the stars. Fuck is you talking about? I made $8 million, right? And people literally look at me like I'm crazy. Even I want you to understand, even when I was a kid, bro, back like um, I'm like 15, right? Like. I was always bad in school, guys. Like, I really need you to understand what kind of character or whoever I am, right? I really need you to understand who I am. I was never good in school. I was never paying attention. I was sleeping. Uh, when test day comes, I'm looking over. There was teachers that literally let me cheat because I was so cool with them. You feel me? Like, I remember this one class, right? <laughs> like, shout out to this teacher, right? You know, I, I'm kind of like the troublemaker. Everyone around school, all the teachers know, like, yo, don't, don't get him tight. Like, because he's going to get in trouble and he's going to spaz or whatever the fuck. Not in a way where I'm like, I would never physically hurt a teacher. But, like, I flame a teacher. Don't get it wrong. Like, I've done no disrespect to the teachers I flame. But I've done flame teachers and, you know, crack jokes on this shit. And it made them feel bad, honestly. But, like, um, they kind of knew not to play with me. But even then, I wasn't someone that was just coming crazy or reckless. It's just, 
you know, I'll just be in trouble. Just my friends crack a joke. We cracking jokes loud as hell. Ah, 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 boom, boom, boom. Everyone laughing. Yo, fuck you laughing at. Like, you feel me? Cracking jokes on them too. Like, now I know hostile shit, but I'll always be in trouble. So the teachers around the way knew me and all that. And I was a sophomore in a freshman's class because I had failed the year before. But like I said, I just generally was sleeping in class where I was just kicked out or I was always suspended. So this was like a like you know or in school suspension so this was something of like what happened within my life so one of the teachers he fucked with me we always talk you know everything like that i would go into his class because i'll be wandering the hallways and there were certain teachers that i could just pop up into their classroom and they'd be like they'll see that like okay he really don't be doing nothing but like okay let him sit in the back of the class for like 20 minutes chill and then walk out bell rings and boom like whatever you know and i would never rat them out like what like if i skip class the teacher like yo where you at I'm like, I'm never telling them where I was. I was in the bathroom, like, you know. So, basically, these teachers fuck with me. This one teacher fuck with me so heavy that he literally let me cheat. Like, I would literally have my phone out. And I try to hide it, but, like, everyone around, he would be so strict on everyone else. And one day, this one t uh, kid was like, how can he get his phone and we, we got to, you know, we got to, you know, this, that, and the third. And basically, he was like, nah, I ain't hearing that. He's different. <laughs> <laughs> they telling me like i'm different and everyone else got it like you know but generally i was still failing the class because you know no matter how many tests you pass or how many quizzes or whatever the fuck like you wasn't you know if you ain't do the homework like i ain't do you know all this that all those other things you know assignments you still damn near failing so i almost i always passed with like a 68 or something like that but basically that was a little off topic but i was always in trouble right so um but even then, like, y'all gotta understand, like, it will be so much shit going with that, you know, boom, I get ISS, OSS, you know, my mom yelling at me, boom, 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 everyone's, everyone, my dad calling me, blah, 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 what the fuck wrong with you, this, that, I'm like, man, this shit blowing me, I go to school, teachers on my dick, I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck, you know, it was just always some time, and a lot of people would literally be like, yo, what are you gonna do, like, a lot of the teachers would sit down with me, and I would literally tell them, like, I'm going to be a millionaire one day, like, I know it, like, it's just what's going to happen, I'm not gonna be like these people, because, like, I, I, even as a kid, like, I'm 15 years old. I don't know these things, all these things that are going to happen. But I know if I work hard, I'm going to do something. You feel me? Like, you got to really understand and play it out in your mind. The thing was, with a lot of people, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know I'm going to be lit off YouTube one day. I know I'm going to be lit off on, on YouTube. But I didn't know this was my career path or whatever, right? But I knew I always loved to work hard in the gym. And I've, over time, that grew. And when I kept growing... And, you know, I kept hitting the gym, getting a little slightly bigger. You know, I love the gym. I just love to push the weight. I love the pump. I love everything about the gym. I love eating healthy. I love to take care of myself, right? And I would see other people who was in that atmosphere of, like, uh, influencers who were swole, who were big as shit. Like, I'm talking about big as hell. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. Like, you know, they're probably blasting steroids. But even then, I respected the game because they're still in the gym 24-7 just like I was. So, I would see a big ass dude and I knew, bro, they would have like 500K on Instagram back when Instagram didn't have reels. So if you had 500K on Instagram back when they didn't have reels, just like posting pictures and videos, bro, that was something big. And on TikTok, that I think they have like a million and shit. It was a couple of them, bro. I just remember him like my the thought process of my brain was this guy gets paid to hit the gym. Let me repeat that. He gets paid to show up to the gym, right? Money. I'm not talking about no regular little ass slave money. <laughs> I'm not talking about, well, I get $15 an hour. No, motherfucker. He's getting some bread. Makes a video, whatever, doing this. People recording him, making a video. They edit it or whatever. Boom, post it online. He gets paid to hit the gym. That was something so crazy to me like i was like word that's what bro i'm like yo i do this for free i hit the gym six times a week for free so why not get paid to do what you love and when i try to break this game down to other people they don't understand bitch i do this for free why wouldn't i want to get paid for it right but the gym ultimately led to more self-improvement more to taking care of skin or taking care of like you know just knowing about self -improvement. Improvement. You know, I, I did all of it already. Like I've done a done it for a lot and I still do it to this day. Where I remember when I was like in the depression state, I would literally journal every day. I would journal what happens. I would tell myself I love myself. I began to love myself. All of this happens from your mind. 
But even then, I did the. I, I still do meditation. I woke up this morning, went to the bay real quick. I bundled up because it'd be cold, but I sit down and meditate in the morning. I love it. This is what I do. I will never stop. Uh, I would never stop self-improvement. I want to continuously grow and you will see this. Now I'm reaching levels of consciousness, of higher consciousness, of understanding what your words really mean. This is why I say when I come to this shit, right? I say I will be one of the greats. I know it, motherfucker. I feel it within my heart. You have to really understand this. And over time, you don't know what you're going to do. But back then, like I said, right, if you're a kid or even if you're older than me or whatever around my age, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know this shit. I didn't know what I was going to do. I just knew I would be a millionaire because I work hard in the gym. So if you work hard in the gym or if you work hard at work or whatever, lifting heavy weights, when, when someone like I remember at my old jobs, they'll be like, yo, lift this weight for me or lift this kind of thing and move this over here because it's kind of heavy. This, that The girls would love it. And, you know, like because they'll just call me and I'm just like one of the stronger dudes. Just pick that shit up and throw it like. This is what you complaining about? Like, this shit is easy. This work shit is easy. Like, like fuck out of here. I, I hit the gym. I put myself through fucking hell in the gym. I'm fucking sore all day. My body's sore all the time. This shit is nothing compared to the work that I put in into the gym. And when you work and then you hit the gym after that, you take care of yourself and then you hit your YouTube after that, it leads to a leeway of path, like a pathway of success, right? The success part is what people don't really see. I already see myself with the Corvette. How don't you see that, right? Because I seen, bro, like I was talking about that influencer a little while ago, a little earlier, right? Bro, he came through with a fucking wild body Corvette, right? All I see in the parking lot one day, somebody sliding with a vet. I'm like, damn, who who that? You know, I'm, I'm waiting outside of my little Toyota, right? Like, I got a Honda, but I had a little Toyota 2002 and shit. I'm looking outside like, yo, who who's sliding that motherfucker? It's wide. It's beautiful. Like, the car is talking. It sounds so good. He pull up, park the shit, come out. Who else would it be? It's the influencer. The motherfucker who gets paid to hit the gym. So, I take a step back. I'm like, what? This motherfucker got the vet. The Bro, everything. The status, all of this comes with it. He comes through the way. The bitch is geeking. All the hoes geeking on him. He dabbing up everybody. People taking pictures with him and around the way and shit. Even me, I dabbed him up. I talked to him and shit like that. He even broke down a little bit of the game and the knowledge, what it took to get to where he at and shit. Nothing but respect. This is what I will do to get paid. I think it's truly hard for people to understand what they will do. Bro, after like two years of hitting the gym consistently, I was like, yeah, I'm never going to stop hitting the gym. It's just what I do. So I have that gift that I believe God truly gave me of perseverance and never giving up on what I do. And this will lead me to a leeway of success. This will do what I do. This will be my job. Job. That's not a job anymore. If I do this anyways, how is that a job? I get paid to be lit. I get paid to hit the gym. That's the best thing. That If there was a job and they say you have to lift this amount of weight all the time, this, that, or, you know, do be in the gym for a certain amount of time, two hours, whatever the fuck. Motherfucker, I do that anyways. Sign me the fuck up. Give me 200K, 300K a year. At the time, that's probably how much he was making, at least. You know, but if you keep upscaling and there's so many things that you can do and you, this is the vision. Let me, like, break it down. Even with YouTube, like, look at Jake Paul, bro, for instance. Perfect fucking example. Logan Paul, look at Speed, look at Kai Sinet. These motherfuckers branched off from what they did. Kai Sinet being the number one right now, to me, because he's generally, like, funny and he's actually, like, real, you know? He's not, like, one of these suckers, at least, but, you know, in some, some ways. But, bro, he sh was in the mud, bro, in New York. You know, one of the best clips of him was when... A rat came behind the screen and shit. And, and everyone in that one clip got him lit and shit like that. So it kept going. He kept streaming. He kept doing all of this. He starts bringing the rappers on. He starts bringing all of these people. Nicki Minaj, uh, G Herbo, one of my favorite rappers. He had so many people on just like how Aiden Ross had. It started from streaming. He don't even play video games. He literally is just entertaining. Like that's crazy. So the streaming, he still streams to this day. That's the number one thing he does. That's like the gym, what I will be doing. I will still be showing content in the future. That was what my mind is. I'm still going to show you self-improvement for 10 years at least because I will never stop growing. I know this is within me. This is engraved. This is what I will be doing. So Kai Sinet, he'll see he, so many like rappers, so many things that he does. I remember seeing a stream from jail, you know, seven days in jail. 
that shit lit. He got like lit. He had Drewski in that motherfucker. He was supposed to. He had some rappers. He literally went to Asia or whatever the fuck in Taiwan, and he met an Asian dude who was so cool. Ray, if you know Ray, he got lit. He got Ray lit instantly. If you go search up Ray on uh do 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 yourself a favor, go and search up Kai Sinet Ray or Ray or from Kai Sinet whatever the fuck. He lit as fuck. He in Jamaica with them party with the bitches right now. Yo, you have to realize the vision of things that you can do. But another thing is the blocking stone of other people telling me or telling you that you can't do it. My father, he says this shit all the time. I want to be so transparent with you. These people, my dad will... <laughs> the thing is, my father is so fucking nuts. It's like... The, what I deem as toxic is not, but what you would deem as toxic and just like, yo, that's a bad dad is nothing to compare of like a lot of the things like I love my parents, but they were fucking wild and tough on me. Just know that this is why I'm this character of really a fucking real one. So my dad would literally be telling me, yo, get the fuck, stop, yo, get a, get another job, get a second job. What are you doing on this YouTube shit? Boom, 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 boom. I'm like. I'm like, bro, I'm not like you. Me and him going back and forth. I'm not like you. I'm not going to be a slave, bro. Trust me, I won't be one. I know who I am. I'm one of the greats. I'm telling him, I'm looking in my, his eyes like, yeah, I'm going to be one of the greats. You will be proud of your son. Trust me. They don't see the vision. They will never see your vision. All of these bots, it could be a girlfriend, whatever. The girl that I was just talking to, shorty, I kind of fuck with. She don't see my vision. So when I try to explain, they will never understand. It's the visualization of the plans, right? So let me get back into Kai Sinet. Kai Sinet doing all sorts of... He got Ray lit. Ray probably got like a million followers, bro. Right? I don't really like keep up with him. I, I see clips on him like sometimes on TikTok and shit. I see him. He lit. He in Jamaica getting uh, lap dances by some big booty Jamaican bitches, bro. Like on some funny shit. You could go search up these clips right now. Ray's lit. Kai Med made uh, Ray lit instantly by knowing him. That is fucking power. And Kai, he, bro, you can do so many things. Kai made a little movie with Ray. Like, if you could search it up, it's like a Rush Hour type funny movie. He could be an actor if he wants. He has all the clout in the world. He can do whatever he wants. He has all the money, all of this shit. He can do whatever he wants from now. But that all branched from streaming. He's doing what he does best as a streamer, but he branches us. He branches off. He can be a, a movie star if he wants to. He's Kai Sinet. Everyone knows Kai Sinet now. He's bigger than most rappers and most musicians. You got to really understand this. It came from fucking streaming. He now, he, bro, he, there's so many things that I probably don't know that he does. Right. Even even you got to really look, look at like Logan, Jake Paul and speed. I just seen last night speed. Uh, He's at WrestleMania. You got to understand this shit. The game has completely changed, bro. He's in WrestleMania. He he fighting uh, uh I think Randy Orton he pushed the shit out of him. He wearing a prime bottle on some fucking fool. That's some corny shit for real. But you know this was my dream even when I was younger. I remember like always watching wrestling. I wanted to be a wrestler. You know I wanted to be a WWE wrestler. You know I love the Undertaker and shit. So he fighting Randy Orton. Randy Orton RKO the shit out of him. Yeah, that's fucking lit. He's at WrestleMania and is one of the main events. Same thing with Logan Paul. He's over there in WrestleMania. These are like side quests. What does what does Speed do? I don't really, you know, I find it like kind of corny what he do, but other kids love it. Like they love him screaming through the fucking TV and doing all types of nut shit. It brought him from streaming. He, bro, the sole thing was streaming so he could branch off and do a lot of things. But you will never know this if you don't have the visualization and the plan. You don't know, bro. Speed, he, he met fucking Ronaldo. He's doing all sorts of things. He's making music. He's making videos. It's that. Kai Sinet made music too. The game has completely changed nowadays. We should be grateful. But if you don't think outside the box like how they do you will be the same regular cpu fucking bot like in gta you just see a guy walking punch him you punch him in his fucking face like and take his money like i'm not saying to do that but in gta it's just a, a random fucking bot your reality is only yours you have to understand this stop thinking so lowly like shorty yesterday she's thinking just a regular apartment fucking apartment man i have five houses if i want if i want because i know who i am you feel me? I'm going to work so hard. I'm going to make all this money, of course, bro. But these people try to engrave different things into you. Like my dad, my mom, my aunt, my, my sisters, everyone. These people could be the people you love, your, your girlfriend, this, that. All of this shit. 
they will try to be like, yo, you're living in a, a false reality. You're wake up. This is not a dream world. We're in real life now. No, bitch, that's your life. That's your life. That's what you deem as your real life. Hey, that you go to a regular nine to five and this, that, and the third. Bitch, that's your reality. Don't let that. I will never let that be mine. The term getting rich or die trying. Don't disrespect the bro. Stop. I hate when people disrespect shit. Do you really know what the fuck that means? If I don't, bro, if I don't get rich, I'll die trying. Do you understand? I will never disrespect it. But it is never that deep. It's never. Because if you have a plan, like I said, you see how people branch off. Okay, I'm going to get lit off of streaming. I'm going to take my following from boom, 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 boom. Go do this. Now I'm in WrestleMania. It does that. Whatever the fuck. You have the vision. My vision is going to lead me to hundreds of millions of dollars, bro. I, I promise if I don't die or go to jail, <laughs> I keep saying that, but like, it's like, that's the only thing that's stopping me. I don't care about anything else. I don't care what this person's talking about. I don't care about what this, any of that shit. I know who I am. I've earned this. I worked so hard for it. I do way more harder things than the average people. So they will never even understand. Fuck you. I don't, I don't they will never understand any of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Your average person. That's why I even say Keep your visions out loud to yourself. You could repeat it, talk to yourself, write them down. That's your goals. But don't you? You're better off not even telling your homies or or your 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 girlfriend or your mom, dad, whatever the fuck. Yeah, like you're better off, like you know, not telling them because they're going to try to engrave their reality into your reality. Your reality is so much higher. You're gonna have someone telling you of this level, broke slave, yo, you need to get a job. You need to do this. Bitch, why would I get a job and be like you? Why? I don't wanna be like you. I wanna be like that person. You look up to the people who are great, like how Kobe did with MJ. Kobe looked up to MJ, copied his every fucking move. Kobe, MJ's right here. Kobe's right here after doing everything that Kobe, MJ did. Literally. Do you think he engraved himself like, yeah, man, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I won't be the best. No, he's literally walking his every day like, I'm the greatest. I'm one of the best in the world. That's how you're supposed to flow. That's how this game of life is supposed to move. But if you let other people install these these negative things into your mind, they will hit you. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm my last video, the power of belief in the visual, uh, the power of belief was literally like the same one at, um, it's basically like the same video. It's not the same video, but they go hand in hand. You feel me? But they kind of cut out the whole part. Like they blocked it, right? Like YouTube blocked it because it's a part of Naruto, the TV show. I put a clip where Rock Lee's training so hard, this, that, and the third. And he, he, he gets faced with adversity where he's literally training so hard, but his hard work isn't showing up. That's what's going to happen. I was watching videos. I was making videos for such a long time before I even got like... You, you guys don't even understand. I was so happy to see like 10 views, 7 views. I was happy to see that because just, just the mere example of somebody watching me, you know, it made me so happy. The only thing that like it would hurt, though, because I'm putting effort into these videos and they weren't blowing up, you know, and my videos aren't blowing up still. Like they're getting somewhat like, OK, views and I'm building a fan base of people that love me and I love. Yeah, but that shit was hurting back then. It was where I'm. Bro, for like a year straight, I never even got a video over 100 views, bro, or 50 views. You don't even know how that feels. It feels like it hurts, but was I a bitch then that I give up and quit like the rest of these pussies? Oh, well, my videos aren't getting this down to 30. You know how many people I know in real life who started YouTube and quit like a fucking bitch? I was so, I get so upset thinking of it because these fuckers think things are going to come so easy to them. That, oh, this video is worth 100 million views. Bitch, you ain't worth shit yet. You got to put in this fucking work. You got to really be in the lab. It's like those people who say, oh, I hit the gym one time out of the week. And, oh, oh, I really hit the gym. No, bitch, you don't hit the old gym. Stop disrespecting the gym. Bitch, you hit the gym once. I hit it five, six times out of the week, you pussy. Don't disrespect the gym talking about I hit the gym. No, you don't. You occasionally hit the gym. I go to the gym sometimes. Don't say you hit the gym. You don't do that. Don't disrespect the art of it. Don't disrespect the, like, these people, they disrespected the art of YouTube to me. I'm like, bitch, like, stop disrespecting it. You quit, you gave up, you're a lame. Fuck you, I don't care. I'll be in this mud no matter how long it takes, but I'm gonna rise up. Because from the bottom, it's only up. You see what I'm saying? These people gave up, and they were getting thousands of views each video. I'm like, how do you give up? Are you just that much of a bitch? I don't know. 
but stay in your lane. You ain't gonna come around me with that nut shit. I'm gonna stay. If I'm in the mud, I'm in the mud. But once I get out the mud, don't come up over here on some. Oh yeah, bro, I was watching your video. Fuck out of here. You wasn't watching my shit. Fuck out of here. Like none of that, right? So understanding that okay you have the visualization and now that it's into like the power of your words right check this out all right this is what i was saying i'm gonna make a whole separate video on the power of your words because it's going to be a whole long fucking video excuse me but the power of your words goes into faith like i'm gonna make this video and there's gonna be another video of along the lines of like the true power of your words and everything like that right so the power of your words develops faith i like this is faith this is your power of your words what you say is what you start to believe this grows into faith your faith turns into a rock and nothing can get past this rock a rock doesn't break fuck is you talking about my rock won't break so like oh like i was saying with rock lee he had a point of like like i was saying where uh on my youtube videos where i'm just like bro I don't know, like, even sometimes, like, I would get self-doubt, and I would literally be like, man, should I really quit, like, the rest of these guys? And then I would snap and be like, yo, shut the fuck up, who's, who, what's, what do you mean we quit, what are you, bitch, are you a pussy? Oh, you did it for one year, so you quit? Oh, I did, YouTube, bitch, you ain't do shit, you know what I'm saying? So this is why I took into my arsenal, I would never quit until I reach my goals, I don't care. The term get rich and die trying is something you don't disrespect. You literally do it until you die. And if you don't do it till then, you're just worthless. I'm sorry. Because after 10 years of doing something, you will be something. I promise you that. But the adversity will hit like a brick wall. Where Sometimes I woke up and I was literally... I, I would tear sometimes. I'm just like, fuck, man. These videos aren't hitting. You know, this down to third. You start to get into a mood. But it's not. It's none of that. You got to fight the adversity. This is what comes with grinding. It, it, it hurts. It happens. When you hit the gym for a long time... You know, some people really start to quit. And no, I never done that. Even if I didn't want to hit the gym, I was going to hit the gym because I'm not a bitch. That's it. I, that's just who I am. I can't go out like that. You know, I can't be one of those people. That, yeah, I hit the gym. Oh, you hit the gym? Yeah, I bet you do. One one day out the week, you fucking pussy. <laughs> you can't do that. So those that adversity, the biggest part of this, what I'm talking about, is that adversity part. It will hit. Whatever you do, whatever you, maybe you want to be a streamer like Kai Sinet. Maybe you want to do this, that, and the third. But all of that branches off into be something great. Kai Sinet, he, the amount of growth he had in two years is insane. Same thing if you're in the gym community. Sam Sulluk, everyone knows who Sam Sulluk is. He put in that work for two years straight. Every fucking day he has an upload of him hitting the gym. Nothing but respect. I tilt my hat to that. That's a real one really putting that work getting the things that he deserves after putting hard work for such a long time you will slowly get the things that you deserve right some of my videos now are touching thousands of views like i one of my view videos touched 8.9 or 9k that's nowhere near where i want to be or will i will be but that is so much growth compared to me literally smiling when i see 10 views on my videos do you, you have to see it it's growth no matter what it's something great and beautiful and i don't take the victory laps i don't take oh well yeah i make this amount of views no i need more i do need more i'm one of the greats i need way more than this i have so many things so much more i need millions of views i don't give a fuck i won't stop until i touch it you feel what i'm saying that is the type of things that you need in your life fuck what your parents say fuck what your girlfriends say F even if you have a girl and they talking all this nut shit fuck out of here because i tell shorty like yo stop talking like that i don't want to hear none of that shit and you're not putting those beliefs into my mind because, like I said with that Rock Lee clip, bro, that Rock Lee, that Rock Lee clip was so important, but they fucking blocked it, man. He's getting his ass whooped by his competitor, right? He's fighting Neji. If you know Naruto, he's fighting Neji. He gets his ass whooped. The bitch, uh, Ten Ten, ugly ass, stupid, lame ass, is talking about, you'll never be him. He's a genius. And Rock Lee on the floor, bleeding and his shit, rocked up, like, punched up and everything. He's like, what do you mean, genius? This, down the third. I wasn't born with this much talent, this, down the third. But I'm going to work for it, motherfucker. And you know you can't lie. And then Neji's like, it's your fate, bro. It's You will never beat me. He's like, nah, fuck you. Basically, he's saying, nah, fuck you. I will beat you type shit. And if you really watch Naruto, if they really fought, like, really towards the end in Shippuden, Rock Lee would have busted Neji's ass. I swear on my life. He activates the seven gates. Not even, bro, the eighth gates will kill him. The seventh gates was going to destroy Neji, right? That's a side note. But basically, he starts training. He's training. And then his sensei, uh, the big homie, what's his name? Uh, 
guy they're basically the same character and he sees rock lee training and rock lee gets to the breaking point where he fails and you know he hits his head and he starts crying and like he tells he confesses because that hurts it, i would get goosebumps watching this because i know how it feels where it's like fuck man i don't know man like diversity hits but then guys like yeah it's you don't but it's it's worthless if you don't believe in yourself if you don't believe this hard work is gonna get you anywhere it's worthless throw it away you know what i'm saying and that enlightened rock lee to really become a great ninja and he really did but that hard work when the hard work hits and you know the adversity you're put, doing a lot of work and the shit doesn't show like the results or whatever it hurts bro but you got to be ready to take whatever comes on that's what i'm saying i will be great i know i will no matter how long it takes bro no matter how long it takes but now back to that part where i said um your words is coming towards faith and once you develop the words and you truly believe it the faith becomes the a uh, rock so when your faith becomes a rock this is why i say like it's important to say what you want uh the words that you speak right when i used to say when i was a kid man i remember this so thoroughly because it happened so many times right where like i'm in middle school and i'll get the wrong question wrong or i'll get a question wrong and my peers or like a girl next to me would be like yo i used to literally think like women were smarter than men you don't even know that's how bad my shit was and i'm not saying you know what i'm saying but like i would literally deem a girl smarter than me instantly because she had good grades it was that's never the case just because i never really had good grades in school i didn't get because i generally didn't put effort towards school i was never doing homework i want y'all to understand this but so by default because she had good grades a's b's and you know a's and b's I would think she's smarter than me. But in all reality, she doesn't know shit about the world. She'll know about George Washington's great-grandfather or whatever the fuck, which I know a lot more now since I learn and read a lot of books. So I have more more knowledge and more of a, a higher consciousness and better. And I know more things than this average person. But back then, I was like, yeah, she's smarter than me. She gets A's and B's. But that's never the case, bro. I promise you. But basically, I remember I will get a question wrong and they'd be like, yo, are you that, like, you stupid or something? I'm like, no, I'm not that dumb think about it what i just said i said no i'm not that dumb and this pisses me off to this day because bitch i'm smarter than you fuck is you talking about <laughs> but it's like i'm not that dumb it's making you say i am done but dumb but i'm not that dumb you feel me just like as a result of like just like an escape goal like no i'm not that dumb or whatever the fuck you feel what i'm saying never say that never say anything that's going to put you down and your self-esteem down if you don't like something that someone's saying call it out no i don't like what you're saying stop talking or whatever the fuck literally with this girl i ain't gonna lie like i tell her yo stop speaking because i can leave this motherfucking car because i'm not playing like i don't i don't play about none of that shit right but basically anything that you say that deems you as lower don't settle for it never anything that's like just outrageous too just like anything that you say like yeah i'm not that dumb i'm not that stupid i'm just that in the third or uh, no always feed your mind your subconscious mind is the higher part of yourself it's the person that you will develop and become great from that sees the plans that you don't that you start to see right and especially on retention your vision is so crazy all of this goes into retention i need you to understand all of these videos really do because of retention everything just comes so much easier but your higher self you can get higher to him by that right so the visualization and you and the power of your words i say i'm going to be great i say it for a reason i know i'm great so when you really start to believe it and you develop that faith that still that stone rock like how i develop faith with god and i know i love him with everything and he's with me and i can never lose because i have god it's unbreakable it's unbearable it doesn't matter what anyone says i have god with me i have the plans i am patrick i am one of the greats i feel these words these are, this is like the layer of proof. If anyone says anything stupid, no, you won't be rich. This, that, fuck what you talking about. I don't know what you talking about. You won't be rich. You are a lame. You're that. Everything that you're saying, I am not that. Don't confuse me. I am not you. I am not a lame. I don't think like you. You know what I'm saying? This is fucking powerful shit. This is what will get you to this next level. And I want you to understand if you made it to this part, last part of the video, no one will ever think like this. No one in your day and age will ever fucking think like this. No one in your school, no one in your like your homies, they will never think like this. I have one homie only where he has a vision and I love him for it. And he really goes for it and he really works for it. He puts that hard work that I say, like, yeah, I hit the gym and I, you know, go to work, wake up 345. He does that. You know, he does that in his own 
spew of like music and stuff, which I really like love. And if he watches this video, shout out to you, bro. You know who you are. But basically, he, but even him, he will won't kind of really see the vision. Like he'll know my vision. I know his vision, but they don't. Then I'm not saying he. I don't know his vision, or he doesn't know my vision, or whatever the fuck, right? It's the knowledge. Don't nobody know this type type of stuff, right? It's all the things that you consume as well. You're watching like idiotic brain dead pranks and all of this playing video games, stimulating your mind. Your higher self will go down because it's useless shit. But if you're watching podcasts of millionaires speak about money, you will engrave a lot of their mindset, just like how Kobe does with MJ. He engraved everything. He watches every move. If you know Kobe's signature move, it was uh, it was MJ's signature move where he back you down, bah, bah, in the post, huh, 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 fade away jumper. That's MJ's move. But he engraved it and took that from MJ's arsenal and developed it into his. This is all a game. It's all GTA. It's all things that you can take away from some people, right? And a lot of people, like I say, they'll deem me crazy because even I'll only tell like my sisters this, but they'll think I'm nuts. Like I will study Hitler. I like Hitler. I studied Napoleon. I studied these great leaders because I will want to be a great leader and have something in like that where I can develop and have my fan base like you guys, where you guys can understand me. I need to be able to talk better. I need to work on a lot of different things and I will and I won't give up on it because I have to be great. But I'll take things and like just telling like the average bot human. Yeah, I study Hitler. They'll be like, yo, what's wrong with you? Like, you know, he was a bad guy. This down a third. I'm not saying I agree with everything he fucking did, you stupid, ignorant, brain-dead, TikTok brain fucking bot. I'm saying he was a great leader. He had a revolution where he was ready. He was going to kill and eliminate a whole certain ethnicity and race from this earth. He was willing to do it. How? He had, it was a leader. Not saying I would. I don't lead in a wrong way. I would never lead my fans into a wrong way to do the wrong things or bad things. I would never do that. I would never talk no bullshit. I'll never talk no nut shit. So I'll take that leadership skill or whatever I can learn from Hitler and put it into my game. The same thing where I learned about Napoleon. I watched the movies on him and I actually read about him too. Take that and put it in my game. Just like how Kobe did MJ. He took his fade away. He took everything that MJ did because MJ was the best, did everything. And Kobe's like the third best in the world. I'd say it's LeBron, MJ, Kobe. Literally. But... This is, it's not false. And the thing is what I, I feel that people will actually watch this video and say is I, I will feel bad for people if you watch to the end and you still don't engrave and think how like start to think like how I think or start to take the information that I put or the knowledge that um you see and you don't put it into your own life. I, I would really feel bad for you. Because at that point, you're just watching me for entertainment. I'm not no entertainment as no fucking prankster. I don't do that. That's lame to me. I want some real shit that's going to help people. That helps me and that's going to help people. Your development and your mind. You might have like a small teen, uh, teeny tiny fucking peanut brain, but you can grow it. Your subconscious mind is what will help you. It will take you to things. Don't let anyone stay, say anything. Don't let anyone steer off your path. Whenever they spew dumb shit, fuck off. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Living reality shit. I'm not hearing none of that, right? And this might seem you, deem you as crazy within the people that you know, right? But you are literally higher. The way you think is so much greater than any person you met. I need you to really get this, bro. So that was a power that... This video is amazing, bro. I love this, bro. This is some powerful shit. I love the shit that I do. I generally love giving you this information. Because don't... I, last thing I want to say again. No one will think like this. No one in your world, your day and age, no one will understand this information. No one will really take this into their mind. No one will really... You won't meet no one. I haven't met Patrick yet. I haven't met another person like him. Haven't. I haven't met someone working that hard. I haven't met... It's rare. It's like, I hate to put me into like this higher up position, but I haven't met no one like me. And yeah, I haven't, bro. Is is that one percent? Maybe one point one percent, whatever the fuck. I'm top one percent, but I'm broke, slave too. I'm not gonna lie to you. But basically, I believe my mindset is already at the one percent. The killers. I want to be the point one percent. The people who are real killers, the real making money, where. 
hundreds of thousand dollars a month, a million a month. Like people don't understand how I think. They'll think a million dollars is a lot, man. I, and they'll think it's unattainable, bro. I'm thinking in the hundreds of millions. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't like shut your mouth. You're just a bot. I'm sorry. <laughs> So I love you guys, bro. If you guys made it to the end, leave it in the comment section, bro. That means, bro, like, if you watch the end, bro, like, I really want you to understand that I actually love you, bro. Like, you're really my guy, and you really understand me because my fan base isn't that big. And I know one day it's going to be huge, but I really love you and cherish you, bro. Like, I really do. So um, I'm going to leave my last video right here for you guys. And, oh, it's the eclipse day, so I think the time is about to happen. I'm about to go get a bagel. I'm hungry as shit. So, stay yourself, stay 300. Whatever you do in life, trust me, I believe in you, bro.